this around for a minute. This is an invitation into our, to this week's theme, um, walking as resistance to speed. So the actual embodiment of putting yourself in an environment where it's really not safe at, at all to be a pedestrian. Um, or you're witnessing it or you're close to it or you're just observing and listening in an intentional way. But this is where you know you are surrounded by a culture of speed faster, faster, get to our destinations, and literally bypassing everything in between. The natural world, people in need, or people in transition, or just people moving. You know, some yell out or some argue with me. This, these aren't made for walking. You can't. It's like, no, actually, how could any transportation network not be made for our most inherent form of getting around? I don't buy it because it's so human for us to be doing this. And so you don't, you may not necessarily agree or, yeah, just have the same maybe <laughs> punch to the gut that I do um, but I, I I would I want us I invite us I invite you to have a posture of listening and learning and absorbing maybe more questions than anything what would it be like if even just 30 percent 40 percent 10 percent of the people in all the automobiles on this corridor if they were walking and what kind of needs would they have but also what kind of connections would be made how would how people how would people see one another and have small small talk or stop and have longer conversations or even by chance cross paths with someone they know how often would you have an encounter with 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 birds and baby birds and nests and a snake that's making its way through or the way ducks just navigate and clean themselves in in creek water like what kind of connections would or could you be making to things that are really made and created around us with such unique stories and knowledge to share with us so As we think about this, this relationship, look at that sky. There's a snowstorm coming in tomorrow, I think. But as we think about resistance to speed, I like the resistance piece as well, that I'm not, that my own, like my own, my very, my very body in this environment causes people to wonder, causes people to think outside the box, causes people to question, causes people to slow down a little bit, causes people to pay attention. <laughs> I don't necessarily recommend holding a smartphone and doing recordings. I have eight and a half, nine years of experience doing this and have a lot of different filters on right now. <laughs> However, just anyway, inviting you in more content below, more practice, more assignment stuff below, but I think, I think our children, our planet, our elders, all the people who face hardship in getting in a car and going wherever they want, depend on us to be stewards of understanding what this default of moving so fast is doing to our fabric and our 
and our community and to our and to our environment so be invited be curious be open and let's and let's go from here